Hey there, it's Alana, and I'm here to answer a statistics question for you all. Um, I received a question about this problem, which is, I don't remember, number 9 or something in the 6-2 homework online, but it's actually number 37 in the book. I don't know if you do that problem in the book, or um, on the study plan, it's number 14, as you can see. All right, so let's see, according to your previous, oh, and remember, of course, the, the percentages might not be the same for your question, but the methods will be working out the same. Previous report, 15% of households had some type of high-speed internet. Nine households are selected at random, and the number of households with high-speed internet is recorded. Find the probability that exactly three households have high-speed internet. Okay, so let me go here to just the regular Excel, and I'm going to type, okay, N, P, okay, N for us is 9, P is 0 0.15, okay. So for part A, they want us to find the binomial distribution, so binom dist, there it is, and it wants the number of trials, so I'm going to say that number, I'm going to give it dollar signs because that's never going to change, and the number of, um, oh, trials, got it, number of successes, oops, my bad, number of successes, that was three, three, now the number of trials, that's this, and that's never going to change. And then the probability of success is this. I'm going to give it dollar signs because it's never going to change. And the cumulative thing, well, I want an exact probability here, so I'm going to say false. Enter. And there you go. That's the answer. So it should be, they want four decimal places, so 0 0.1069. Cool. Now they want at least three. Well, let's see here. You know, it might be a good idea to do it this way instead. Make this x, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I know I could have made a formula to do that, but just bear with me. Okay, so we just did it, binom dist. Number of s is there. Number of trials is there, gave it dollar signs. Probability is there, gave it dollar signs. And then false. If you do this all at once, click and drag, then you'll see all your answers come up. So, for example, right here, right there, that's the answer to A. Let me color it yellow. Okay, now, for part B, what they want is the probability at least three, which is actually all of these, right, put together. So, you could actually just find that, B equals sum, and then you're going to add up all of those. And press enter. And there you go. It should be, uh, let's see, 0 0.1409. Go. Fewer than two. Fewer than two would be only these two, right? Because those are the only ones that are fewer than two. So that would be equal to the sum of these two. So 0.5995. Cool. Done with that. Between two and five inclusive. Do you see how much easier this is if you if you go to the trouble to make this table? So much simpler. So between 2 and 5 is these two, or excuse me, these four. Inclusive means that you get to include the 2 and the 5. So I'm going to type equal sum, oopsie, give it a left parentheses, 2 to 5. Swing. There we go. So it's 0.3999. Awesome. Okay, we're done. Okay, so once you have this table built, life is golden. Right? It's just a question of getting the table. So let me re remind you how I did this. So I went up here and I typed N and P first just because I knew I wanted them to stay set. And then I go here and I type my X and my probability of X. And I put in all the numbers that N X could be. So it can go anywhere from 0 up until whatever N is. N is 9, so I put that in. And then the real hard part is I put in this. Binome dist, click on this for D2, that's the number of S. This guy for the number of trials and give him dollar signs this guy for the probability of success and give him dollar signs, that's why those two have dollar signs, and then say false. Press enter and then drag through the whole column and you've got it. All of these will fill out appropriately and you'll be able to use them to answer all your questions down here. Alright, I hope that helps. See you, bye.